In this video, I like to talk to you about the best book that you can get to learn Spark. All right. And I'm going to tell you a quick story, the way I actually learned Spark. A couple of years ago, I was tasked to do uh, a project in, in Spark. And before I didn't actually use it because I never, I never needed it before I was mostly working with medium sized data sets. And of course I knew about Spark, but I never had an actual reason to learn it. And this project came about and I was supposed to actually deliver it within three weeks from that moment. So I had literally no knowledge of Spark and there, there it was, I had only three weeks to do, to do that project. And I started to do a little bit of research. And of course, you know, there, there are a lot of courses and, and all of that stuff, but I prefer to read from books. And the reason why I prefer to read from books is that you can easily go back and forth and check knowledge. You know, you, you can just flip pages and go to a specific section that you're interested in and then go back and, and then uh, get, more, get more insights. In, in a course, it's not that easy. And I decided, okay, I'm going to look for books. And of course, now with Amazon Prime, it's pretty much very easy. Like everything gets delivered the next day. And I knew like if, if I would get a book, I can just have, have that delivered the next day. And then I could just start, start learning. And now the, now the question was what book to get. All right. After I did all of this, all of the search, I got the book and uh, uh, I, I learned from that. I literally was able to learn Spark within a week. And definitely a week might seem very, uh, a very short amount of time, but within that week, I had the, the fundamentals that I needed to actually take that project from beginning to end. And I actually delivered the project within the, the time frame of, of three weeks that was, uh, that was given to me. And therefore, this book can be the best investment that you can make if you want to actually learn, uh, learn Spark. But before I tell you what the book is, I want to thank you for viewing this video and for subscribing to our channel because we really want to help you learn data science in a more flexible manner and more applied manner by actually doing projects, okay? And having this practical approach rather than just the theoretical and mathematical background that at times can be dull, right? If you learn things practically, then you're more eager to, to learn the mathematics behind it as well. All right. So again, thank you for, uh, for viewing this video and thank you for subscribing to our channel. Now, the book that I recommend you actually get and learn Spark from is called Spark, the definitive guide. Okay. And if we go ahead and we check it on Amazon, we can actually see it's from 2018 and, uh, it's uh, written by Bill Chambers and Matei Zaharia. Now, of course, I was a little bit biased to buy this book because the author is the actual creator of Spark, uh, Matei Zaharia, and also he's, he's Romanian. And therefore, of course, there's my bias. Um, but it's an incredible book. All right. And when you read a book written by the creator of Spark, then you know that that's the most absolute truth that you can actually get. Uh, and the, the, the deepest level of, of knowledge that you can get about, uh, about Spark, all right? So it has very good reviews, as you can see, it has 81 ra uh, ratings. And let me actually, let's actually go through the, the book itself, okay? So we can see uh, it's written in uh, 2018, and these are the chapters, okay? I'm sorry for the book. It's a little bit uh, worn down. I actually used it quite a lot. So, um, so yeah, what I definitely recommend you do is, is read the first chapters properly. Okay. Because chapter two, for example, a gentle introduction to spark is extremely useful for you to get, um, a broad understanding of, uh, of what spark actually does. All right. And you can actually see the basic architecture and learn more about, uh, the internal bits of spark. Okay. And of course you get chapter three, a tool, uh, a tour of sparks tool set, and you learn how to actually run applications. But again, this is a very, 
a brief introduction. But nevertheless, this first part of the book is extremely useful for you guys to, to read, all right? So definitely start with this. And part two, I think part two is, uh, is what you actually need to get started with Spark initially. If you just read part one and part two, then you're kind of like pretty much good to go and start working on a project already. All right, because you get the structured APIs, right? You, you, un you understand more about data frames and then you understand how to work with different types of data. And then, of course, you get aggregations, joins, different data sources. You learn more about Spark SQL. And I think, again, like part one and part two, if you read these, you will get up and running and then you can actually start working on a project, on an applied working, uh, on an applied project with Spark, okay? So definitely these two chapters are the most important when you actually get started with, with Spark. With part three, you read more about RDDs, but personally, I don't really think that you will actually use uh, the low level APIs. So you will more stick to uh, data frames. But again, these are nice concepts to know and you can definitely uh, read through, okay? But moving onwards from RDDs, part four, when you actually learn how to productionalize applications, it's, um, it, it, it's extremely good, right? Because you learn how to develop Spark applications and how to deploy uh, these projects. Okay, you learn more about monitoring and debugging, performance tuning, and so on, right? Part five is, um, is extremely important when it comes to Spark streaming. And I definitely uh, encourage you to to learn more about Spark streaming and to understand the fundamentals of, uh, of stream processing, okay? And moving on, we get the, the good stuff, right? We, we learn how we can use Spark for advanced analytics and machine learning. And I think part six is, again, a, a really, really, really important uh, part of the book to learn. So if I would prioritize them, I would go part one, part two, and then part six for the machine learning aspects. And because everything else is supportive, it supports uh, this knowledge and extends this knowledge, but you will only use those specific parts, like for example, streaming or RDDs in specific use cases. But most of the times you will be working with data frames. You're gonna be doing some sort of machine learning, right? You're gonna try to apply some, some models in Spark. And I think part one, part two, and part six will definitely get you up and running and be able to, um, to actually deliver a project from beginning till end, all right? As you can see here, we read more, we learn about classification, regression, and uh, unsupervised learning as well, deep learning, okay? So these are the, the, the chapters of the book. If we go through the book, we can see just if we skim through, as you can see, I actually learned by also underlining some, some concepts just so that I can all easily come back to them afterwards. And the book is really well written. You have examples in Scala and in Python, okay, and in SQL. So whether you're a Python developer or a Scala developer, you will easily uh, get the most out of this book, okay? All the examples are written in both languages and then it's gonna be very easy for you to, to learn, okay? The only downside to this book is that it's a little bit flimsy, right? Um, the binding on this book um, is a little bit bad. So some pages are likely to kind of come off, especially when you, um, when you use it quite a bit. But again, the quality of the content is astonishing. And I definitely recommend that you learn Spark from this book. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, it's, it's from 2018, right? And you might think, oh, there might be some, uh, some extra additions to Spark and you want, might want to learn new things uh, uh, that appeared in the, in, the, in the language. But this book actually sets the base of what you actually need to know about Spark because everything else that comes extra, you can read from blog posts, you can read from 
uh, from the Databricks blog as well. And, and you can always add up to that knowledge, okay? Now, this book might be expensive, right? And if you don't have the actual, let's say, money for, for it, you, you, what, what you can do is use the book from this link, okay? So let me um, move this a bit so we can actually read here. On the Databricks uh, website, you actually can download the new edition of the Learning Spark from O'Reilly, okay? And this is an incredible book. You just have to fill in uh, this form and then you will download the book from this link. All right, I hope that this link will work and they will continue to offer this book for free. But for now, uh, at least you can, you can download it. You will also see a lot of ads on, um, on Facebook or on LinkedIn uh, where they encourage you to download this book because I think they, they want to get more people to use Spark and implement it in their workflow, okay? So I downloaded this book. So let's see what, uh, what we have here. So we have chapter one, uh, the introduction to, to Spark, and then how you can actually get started with it. You learn more about data frames and data sets. Then you go through how you can use Spark in applications. And as you can see from, uh, from this uh, table of contents, it's uh, a book that feels like it includes pretty much everything that is included in the in Spark Definitive Guide, but not as in depth. Okay, so you you get the the gist of of Spark. You learn a lot of things from uh, uh, from this book, from um, from this free PDF. But after reading through it, and I've checked pretty much all the chapters, I realized that of course it's newer, and you you have uh, newer concepts in it but it's not as in-depth. And if you want to learn more about the intricacies of, of the language, then I, I definitely think the original book, this one that was written in 2018, is, uh, is a better choice, okay? But nevertheless, if you don't wanna spend any money and you wanna learn Spark, I think you can download their free ebook from, uh, from Databricks and it would be equally equally good at the beginning so that you get up and running. But if you want to have a deeper dive into the language, then you would actually have to get a more in-depth book such as a Spark the Definitive Guide. And also you can see that the book is written by, uh, by other guys. Of course, you get the foreword from uh, Matej Zahargia and I'm sure that uh, these guys know what they're, uh, what they're talking about. But nevertheless, I always prefer to, um, to learn from, if I can, of course, from the actual creator of the language, okay? So yeah, and also you get how you can create machine learning pipelines with Apache Spark. And this is pretty good, right? You get a lot of knowledge from chapter 11. As you can see, you get like, uh, help you understand how you can use MLflow, which is their own proprietary, uh, service but again if you can get this free ebook and uh, go through it okay then based on that knowledge that you get from here you can decide whether you want to actually spend more money and get a more in-depth um, let's say introduction to spark but yeah in the end it's up to you I mean always free is uh, is better uh, when it comes to getting most value for money, right? Because there is no money. So you will get some value with almost no cost. I really hope that this video helped you and I'll see you in the next video.